Good morning and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Kelly Kennedy. And I'm Gigi Pagel. The Roseville Downtown Library is looking for volunteers to work on May 11th. Students in need of volunteer hours can sign up using the QR code on screen. Seniors, if you completed all three culinary courses, you may be eligible to receive a culinary honor cord to wear with your cap and gown on graduation day. Applications are due April 28th. In other news, if any graduating students haven't already, place your order for a cap and gown as soon as possible. The orders will be handed out on April 17th. And now we go to Natasha and Nikki for with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Natasha Nikifora. It's been a tough series against Bella Vista for the baseball team. They are currently 0-2 in the series after falling short both Tuesday 5-3 and yesterday 10-4. Despite the losses, freshman Ethan Gustis showcased some impressive pitching yesterday going five innings and only giving up two runs. Junior Kyle Patterson also had a strong performance going 2-3 for three with a home run triple and four of the yeah. Addison Mahon had the opportunity to speak with Kyle post-game. Take a look. Thanks, Natasha. Kyle, despite the two tough losses, what's it going to take to win tomorrow? Uh, I just think we got to come out with a lot of energy. Bats got to gotta be on fire. Uh, yeah, if we do those two things, I think we'll be good. If pitching, if we throw strikes, uh, I think it's going to be a really successful day for us. Thanks, Kyle. Back to you, Natasha. Thanks, Addison. Now let's move on to softball. Softball had a mixed week going one and one. They dominated River Valley with a 14-4 victory. Abby Knopp had a stellar game going 3-3 three for three with two RBI doubles. Bella Tonso also had a strong performance with a home run and four RBIs. <laughs> Unfortunately, they couldn't keep up the momentum and lost against Yuba City 13-3 yesterday. Turning our attention to boys golf, they suffered a tough loss against Wood Creek, but bounced back with a win against Antelope with a score of 196-305. Luke Sawney led the charge with an impressive score of 36, followed by Timmy Harry and Jobin Cageley with 39, and Zach Gall with 40. They'll be looking to start a win streak as they face off against Endercom on Monday. In other sports news, there's a swim try meet with Endercom and River Valley. The girls' team is currently holding strong in third place, while the boys are in fifth. The girls' relay team clinched the close victory with a score of 88 to 81, but unfortunately, the boys fell short, losing 82 to 70. And last but not least, we had another record broken out of track and field. Senior Kylie Hunter broke the women's all-time RHS shot put record, throwing 39 feet, 9 inches. The record was previously held by Melissa Kennedy in 1980, who threw 38 feet, 10 inches. Congrats on making history, Kylie. Honestly, it was really well-deserved. She's been working really hard for this, and I've never seen a more dedicated person. So it was just really nice to see her finally get what she's been working towards. Before we go, cheer tryouts are next week on the 15th, 16th, and 17th in the Muller Gym. For those that are interested, check out at Roseville underscore cheer on Instagram for more information. And that's all on your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I have the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Natasha. On March 22nd, Webtoon started to release the Avatar The Last Airbender graphic novels for free as episodes on the platform. The graphic novels were printed after the official end of the show as a continuation since the show's rights were purchased as a trilogy. Webtoon is re-releasing the graphic novels one episode at a time, starting with The Promise, the first of six official graphic novels. Not much has changed between the official printed novels and the webtoons. Some panels have been reformatted and have made a little bit clearer, but the art style and storyline remain the same. These comics are near and dear to my heart, and as far as I'm concerned, the only good adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. In film news, the trailer for Joker 2 Folly Adwa dropped, and it actually seems kind of interesting. The trailer shows off Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn and Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. To be honest, I really hated the first Joker movie, and the only reason I cared about this one was that I thought it was going to be a musical. However, according to director Todd Phillips, music is just an essential element somehow. I'm Brady Hendricks, and now we go back to news. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.